welcome. It's Phil and Rosalie Fielder from the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. We'd love to have you with us. Hey, today we begin a new series called What Have You Got In Your Hand? What have you got in your hand? You'd be surprised, pleasantly surprised. It's going to change your life. It's a beautiful, peaceful morning down here. I'm glad that you could join us. When God created the heavens and the earth, he saw everything and said, hey, it's good. The birds of the sky and all the animals and, of course, the sea just teeming with living creatures. Often from just where we're sitting, I've seen pods of whales swimming past, diving and frolicking around and blowing water into the air and having great fun. When we go on missions to the islands of the Pacific, I love to take opportunities to dive there. It's so good. Under the ocean, it's like another world. It's just teeming with a variety of all-coloured fish. God has given every one of us a variety of talents and gifts. But many times we don't realise what we have. And sometimes it takes years to discover those things that we already have. In this course, we want to motivate you, encourage you, that you might discover what you have in your hand. The Bible says, a man's gift makes a way for him and brings him before great men. And it doesn't matter how big or small the gift is, but you really want to feel comfortable with it. You want to develop it. Practice, practice, practice and persevere. Your gift will lead you into joy and a place of fulfillment in life. After Moses fled Egypt, he went into the wilderness. He was there for 40 years, tending his father-in-law's sheep. Picked up a stick somewhere, helped him to tend the sheep with, and uh, probably whittled it down, and it became a rod in his hand. After that time, Moses had this encounter with God through the burning bush. God revealed himself as the I Am, and commissioned him again to go back into Egypt to deliver his people Israel out of the land. Moses began to make many excuses like, Who shall I say sent me? I cannot speak. He'd already had some bad experiences in Egypt and so he was trying to get out of the call to go back in. But God said to Moses, What have you got in your hand? This old rod he'd been carrying around the wilderness for about 40 years become such a part of Moses. He felt secure, he felt comfortable with the rod in his hand. And the Lord said to Moses, throw it down on the ground. And he threw it down and suddenly this rod became a serpent and began to wriggle everywhere. It frightened Moses and he fled from it. And the Lord said to Moses, reach out your hand and catch it by the tail. And he did so. And as he did, it became a rod in his hand again. Read the account of it in Exodus 4. This rod in the hand of Moses became a source of power and authority that would change the course of history. Your gift that you have in your hand can change the course of your history and also affect all of those people around about you. A man's gift will make way for himself and bring him before great men. Moses soon found himself back in the very presence of Pharaoh. With the same rod that he had picked up in the wilderness in his hand. And there miracles happened before the presence of the king. Moses led the people of Israel out of Egypt being pursued by Pharaoh and his chariots. Soon they were confronted by the Red Sea. Moses held his rod high. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. The seas began to part. A way was made known to them. And the people began to cross through. Yes, your gift will make a way for you. We have six children and 12 grandchildren now and they've all got different gifts and talents in their lives. We endeavour to encourage them what they feel comfortable with, what they like doing. 
what excites them in life. Finding out what they've got in their hands, what they're doing with their hands. The Bible says, whatever you find to do with your hands, do it with all your heart, you prosper. Let me ask you, what have you got in your hand? What have you got in your hand? Be really encouraged. Begin to use it. Practice, practice, persevere. A little bit different today, sitting upon the rocks. Thanks for joining us and God bless you. I want you to have a great day.